There will be some bumps along the road, and we're certainly experiencing one right now. The market for electric vehicles may be low on juice. Within the last year, we've seen a pair of major surveys from both Auto Trader and JD Power, each showing an over 10% drop in demand. And according to the North American Dealers Association, availability of EVs is outstripping demand, resulting in ballooning inventories. That sentiment plenty visible at the Canadian International Auto Show with lots coming to check out the latest EVs. Electronic cars as well too. I'll look into see those as well. But then also comments like this. There's something a little sterile about that driving experience I find. EVs cost more and interest rates are high right now. Um, and we're, you know, coming off a significant recession. Peter Fries is the Associate Dean of Engineering for Professional Programs with the University of Windsor. He founded Canada's first program in automotive engineering 25 years ago and says there are some bumps in the road. The other thing is uh, uh, charging uh, infrastructure availability. Uh, are we in a situation where auto companies will have thrown themselves at it and nobody wants to buy or can the auto companies make adjustments. The auto companies are pretty good at responding to the marketplace and making sure that they have products on offer which are uh, desired by consumers. Is there a risk for plants that were retooled, you know, nice and early uh, with, the, with the help of government funding that if, if it takes a while for that demand to come back that it could kill a plant? I doubt that would ever happen. They wouldn't walk away from an, from an investment on that scale. So, you know, that, that push from the federal government to have all new cars uh, sold being an electric vehicle by 2035, was that a little, a little on the aggressive side, perhaps? <laughs> well, I don't know. It, it's hard to say. Again, there's, it, it's, it's a, it's a, in some ways, it's a long way to 2035. It's 10 years, uh, 11 years. Um, but that's only, you know, a couple of product cycles away. The performance of EVs in the marketplace will also be driven by their performance on the road and their speed of charging and their operating costs and their acquisition costs and all that sort of thing. And those are in becoming increasingly uh, positive over time. Now those developments haven't been without controversy from the fine details of implementation to how much public money has been spent. There are also the criticisms that EV manufacturing employs fewer people and that consumer subsidies encourage buyers to choose products made overseas. At the end of the day you want a piece of the, the manufacturing pie. Uh, in terms of generating a workforce here are we in looking good or are there concerns that you have? As long as the assembly plants remain in Canada, and I don't see that changing because it's a very good environment, we're a very good environment for auto assembly, uh, I think that, uh, you know, we will continue to be an auto parts powerhouse. The battery plants, which are uh, coming into Canada and being built now, are very important for the future of the assembly plants in Canada. And believe me, believe me, in the, these battery plants are 50 and 60 year investments. And in, in 50 or 60 years, we'll have those big battery plants. We'll still have the assembly plants. We'll still have the auto parts factories and people will be buying electric vehicles that are made in our country as opposed to made in somebody else's country. And that's what will be important. If we did not make those investments in the battery plants, I could I think I could see the exit of the auto industry from Canada within a decade or so. And um, that would be an absolute disaster. I, I, I said to a federal minister one time, if you think Newfoundland looks bad without fish, you should see what Southern Ontario would look like without the auto industry. Just like any transition to a new technology, there will be ups and downs. Meanwhile, Brian Kingston is the president of the Canadian Vehicle Manufacturers Association. He agrees car makers will weather the slump in EV demand, but says globally the CVMA estimates about 360 new mines will be needed by 2035 to supply demand for minerals needed to make EV batteries. And adds Canada is not well positioned to benefit. Uh, no, in short, we have every mineral required 
that goes into battery electric vehicles. This is one of the biggest economic opportunities facing Canada. The challenge is we can't get them out of the ground. So we need infrastructure built into northern parts of Canada and remote areas where these minerals are found. On top of that, we have to accelerate our permitting process. If we want companies to invest here, they need to know that they can get a mining approval relatively quickly so that we can compete with other regions of the world for 2035 to be the year when all the new vehicles are going to be electric. Uh, I, w would you like to see that be, be a little more relaxed? Yeah, the federal government has taken the wrong approach in our view with respect to a mandate. What they're doing is dictating the, Canadian, the vehicles that Canadians can and can't buy. That is not the right approach. We need to help Canadians make the switch, not force them. And the best way to do that is focus on those measures that will boost demand, increase the incentives available to Canadians, build out the charging infrastructure. In Oakville, Ontario, David Zura, City News.